Oh, hello. It's Lissy. It is Saturday, September 12th. Um, almost one. Yeah, one o'clock. And I don't know what I've been doing this morning. Well, I went to the gym. That was the productive part of my day. My trainer um, worked me out hard. And I need it. Like, I need to get back in action. I had been... Like, I had lost... I'm probably 10 pounds heavier now than I was, like, in the spring. So I'm not really pleased with that at all. And, um, you know, small changes make a big difference. So I really want to get back, like, to my... I see my trainer once a week. I go to Pilates once a week, which I've been slacking on. Um, and then usually I try to do weights once a week on my own. And then plus whatever cardio I do. So I need to get back in action. But anyway, I did that this morning. And then, I don't know, I came home, I ate some breakfast, I I don't know what I've been doing. Other than now I just finally got, got in and out of the shower and got ready. Um, so I'm going to Neiman's this afternoon to pick up, you may or may not remember, I bought two pairs of Michael Kors trousers, those, are, those have now been altered. I got this really cool Alexander McQueen sweater peplum top, which I now have in three sizes. <laughs> so I have to choose, I'm going to figure out which size I want and then, to, you know, have her, to have the other two taken back. Um, so I think maybe tomorrow, so usually on a Sunday I don't get gussied up, but I know I'm going out tomorrow night, so I'll be presentable. Um, so I think I'll do another video tomorrow and show you finally, like, all that stuff. Because um, I feel like there's something else that I have had. Oh, yeah, well, because I got the Michael Kors jacket that goes with the red trousers that I'm going to have. You know, I'll, they'll be back. They'll be home with me by tomorrow. Um, yeah. So last weekend was Labor Day weekend, and I went to New York just Saturday and Sunday. I think I told you I spent the day Saturday with my sister. We did a lap around Bergdorf's. I don't remember if I told you I was doing it. I don't think I told you that I did it. But anyway, so we did Bergdorf's, like, basically top to bottom. Um, so we started on the bottom in beauty. The first floor of Bergdorf's is, is being renovated right now. That's the handbag and jewelry floor. It's kind of a mess. And the sunglasses are now downstairs in beauty as well. <laughs> so that I was very targeted in what I wanted from Bergdorf's. I wanted, I wanted to look at the Tom Ford and Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I wanted to get a new pair of sunglasses. And I, if I found a black blazer, I've been in the market for like a just classic black blazer. So those were my items that I was in the market for. So I started at Charlotte Tilbury. So I got two lipsticks there. And you know what? I probably am going to need my glasses to read these colors to you. Um, <laughs> the 45-year-old eyes are not what they used to be. Um, so anyway, I got two colors. They're very similar. One's the matte and one is the, the regular formula. So I think Bitch Perfect, that's what this one is. And this is not the matte formula. So this is like a nice, you know, I like these nudes. <laughs> and I have so many of them. But I actually, I went through all my lipsticks last Monday, I think. Because it was Labor Day and we had the day off. Um, so anyway, after buying these new lipsticks, I literally went through every lipstick I own, which is a lot. And, um threw away a bunch. Some of them smell weird. You know, if you have them too long, they get a weird smell. So, a couple, like when the Tom Ford lipsticks first came out, I ordered like six of them just online. And, you know, a couple of the, the nude colors were the kind of nude that's just wa like washed me out. So I got rid of the, like I just got rid of a bunch of stuff. So anyway, this is Bitch Perfect. And actually, let me keep that out because then this other one is Oh, Sexy Sienna. So this is the matte one. So this one is a little deeper. They're very similar, as you can see. But, you know, one is a little more, like, orangey, and one is a little more mauve pinky, whatever. So I got those two, and I got a lip liner. Um, which one is this? God knows. You know, I don't know how people are lip cheat lip liner um so that's the charlotte tilbury then from tom ford i got three lipsticks yeah 
So I got three colors. I got Misbehaved, Lilac, Nymph, and Spanish Pink. Spanish Pink? Oh yeah, Spanish Pink, okay. So Spanish Pink is another one of these pinky nudes like I love. I actually have worn this a ton this week. The Lilac Nymph, look at how pretty that is. This like, it's a little, you know, fluorescent kind of. And then Misbehaved is this really nice like apricot color. You know, one of these, I already did my makeup and put my lipstick on, I should show you them. Maybe I'll just have to be better about telling you like when I'm wearing them. But actually, while we're at it, I'll just tell you what lipstick I'm wearing today. Today I'm wearing, um, these are Laura Mercier. The lipstick is 60s pink and the gloss is pink pop. So, pink. 60s pink and then the pink pop gloss so that's what I'm wearing today so then okay then so I let me rewind and tell you about my sunglass story so I I actually I don't know if you've seen on Instagram and like you know on blogs and things like that these sunglasses from key Australia key Q U A Y looks like Kwai Kwai something but I think it's pronounced key and I decided, like, I wanted to try a few of the pairs. Now, the Key Australia website didn't have, like, one of the styles I wanted. Um, and then Amazon had them. But they, so the, the beauty of these, so, these Key Australia sunglasses is they are, like, 50 bucks. They're, like, nothing compared to, you know, the three to $500 sunglasses that one might buy at, like, a department store. So... But Amazon was selling them for like, I mean, I'm sure it's not Amazon, it's whatever seller they're selling them through, you know, is selling through there. But, you know, they were way over, they were like $75. I'm like, I'm not paying an extra premium just to buy them through Amazon. So I found this website, New York Glass, New York Glass, nyglass.com. And they had the ones I wanted. And so I ordered them. So I was very pleasantly surprised. Like I ordered them, I think Sunday a week ago. It was before Labor Day weekend. And Monday, I get a, an email with a shipping summary. Like a shipping, you know, like tracking, USPS. Then, you know, a day later, I check the tracking, like no progress. Like only that shipping label has been created. Two days later, same thing. So, you know, that whole week, nothing, like they sent me a shipping, but nothing happened. So I started to get suspicious because I was like, I don't know this company. You know, now I pay through PayPal, which makes me comfortable because I know there's like both buyer and seller protection through PayPal. So I knew at the end of the day, if I was somehow getting scammed, I would get my money back. But um, any, in any event, I tried to email them to no avail. I went on their website, filled out one of their like contact me forms, no response. I tried to tweet them, no response. So I was really pissed. So I did a PayPal dispute. Finally, they get back to me. Apologies, apologies. We're a new company. You know, our customer service is clearly not what it should be. Your sunglasses shipped. Meanwhile, I had been to Bergdorf's and bought two pairs of sunglasses. And then subsequently, I got the three pairs that I ordered from Key Australia. So let's chat about my sunglasses. Wait a minute. I am missing a pair. Hold on. Okay, so let's maybe start with the Key Australia sunglasses. Three pairs. One, two, three. Of course, I don't remember the names of these, but so here's one pair. Now, this one I particularly like because of the like rosy kind of lenses. And then these are just a regular like matte black. Oh, wait. No, sorry. These are the ones with the rosy lenses. These are the matte black um, sunglasses. So let me show you. Tell me what you think. And they definitely like they, they're they're not. They're, they definitely feel cheaper than my nice sunglasses, let's put it that way. But, um, like, I think they're really cool and, like, clearly very exaggerated. Um, and for 50 bucks, I might keep them. I don't know. But I don't know that I'll keep all three pairs. That's one. 
These I really liked because of the blue mirrored lenses, but I think these might go back. I feel like a bug, don't you think? Like an alien or something. So that's that. And then there. So I don't know, I think of all of them, these are my favorite. So you should tell me if you agree. Actually, I should tell you what the names of these are. How am I gonna do that? Are they on here? Oh wait, maybe it's on here. Oh yeah, okay, so these are the cha-chas in chocolate. So these are the ones I think I like. Okay. These I really wanted. These are the Vespers, which is appropriate because Vesper is my favorite cocktail. Um, and I like these too. And then these with the blue, the ones that I feel like I look like an alien. I think these are the ones that are going to go back. These are called My Girl. So give me your opinion because I'd really be curious to know what you think about those. Um... So then my, so I bought, so then I bought two pairs of sunglasses at Bergdorf's and I love them both. These are by Dior. I like the um, black just with the gold. Aren't they really neat? I love them. And then uh, Celine sunglasses are usually my favorites and these Gee, like they, these come in a smaller frame size. Like my sister tried them on. She liked the smaller ones, but I love the, um, I love the gradient lens. I love the kind of maroon color and then the combo with the tortoise. Like I love these. Aren't they awesome? Yeah. So those are five pairs of new sunglasses. Give me, give me your opinion. <laughs> um, and then... Oh, then I just, my nails look terrible, but I just wanted to show you, I'm not going to show you my toes, but, so I'm wearing the, my, one of these favorite nail polishes of mine, this Dior, I don't even know what color it is, sorry, it's a, oh, oh, right, here it is, it's right there, I never know how to say that, there it is, that's what's on my nails, and then I told you about the Chanel, I showed you the one Chanel nail polish, the darker blue that had the kind of, um, shine to it. This is the like brighter royal blue called vibrato. I have this on my toes. Oh my god, I love it. Like look at this color. It's awesome. Yeah, so cool. Okay, so that's that. So I think I wanted to tell you something else. I don't know. I'll think about it. But um I think I'll show you my outfit. I don't know that I have anything else to show you. So I'm wearing two Hermes bracelets. This is a Stephanie Cantus necklace and pendant. I love her necklaces because like this, you can just clip it in a different place to make it long. You can wrap it around a couple times. I have another one, like a different pen. You can buy different pendants to put on these necklaces. So I can wear this long or I can wear it like up here wrapped around a couple times. It's just super cool. Um, this is a Chanel jacket. You've seen this before. Chanel jacket with the pearls down the arms. Um, this is a Vince like satin t-shirt-ish kind of thing. I'm wearing these J brand. I'm wearing some distressed jeans, black, and these black Christian Louboutin pointy toe flats, which I got on sale quite some time ago at Bergdorf's. And I'm going to carry my Valentino bag that's been getting lots of use. Um, so hold on, I'll show you what I'm wearing. Okay, so here it is. The whole get up. Oh, and this Moschino belt. Um, kick this thing out of the way. There. So that is it. Um, my God, I feel like there was something else I wanted to mention. Oh yeah, I have a rant. That's what it is. Um, so you might remember in June, I was very sad. I had been dating somebody, it didn't work out. Meanwhile, he'd been flitting in and out of my life still all summer. Not totally leaving me alone. Part his fault, part mine. But now I told him and I meant it, like, leave me alone. And I think he is, thankfully. 
So I'm trying to focus on meeting other people. And I had met this guy, I went out with him a couple times, like perfectly lovely dates. He was like totally into me, like what, you know, I already felt like he didn't need to date other people. I was like, well, I don't know that we need to take it that far, but that's fine. So meanwhile, we were supposed to go out weeks ago. He travels a lot, um, so he's not always here. So we were supposed to go out weeks and weeks ago on a Sunday night. And then he pings me, like, you know, at the crack of dawn, like 6 a.m. on a Sunday to tell me, like, he's not going to be back in, like, in downtown Boston until, you know, at least eight, until after 8.30 at night. And I, I am not good on a good day starting my night at 8.30. I'm certainly not good on a Sunday night. Like, Sundays I generally reserve to stay, like, to do nothing and to stay home. So for me to go out on a Sunday night is usually, like, you know, it's just not my norm. So I was like, I don't think so. Because, you know, like he wasn't sure when he was going to be back. And so, of course, he got back. He pinged me at like, you know, 820. And he was like, I could meet you at 845. And I was like, I'm already like in for the night. So he was off prancing around the world, like in Barcelona with his kids, like on vacation and yada, yada. So then he's back. We're supposed to go out Wednesday. An hour before we go out, I get a text that says, oh, I'm so sorry, I have to go to dinner with my boss now. You know, hopefully we can meet up, because then he's off again to like to London or whatever. Hopefully we can meet when I'm back. You know, hopefully we can. So I was pissed, 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 pissed. Didn't respond. Heard from him today. Can we go out on such and such a night in like later this month? And I'm like, well, I said, first of all, I'd have to reschedule something, which is what I did for you this week for you to cancel an hour beforehand. And second of all, it just doesn't seem like you have time for this. So you know, I don't know. I don't know what to do. So he pinged me back. He's like, I know that's my worry. Like, I think it's his own worry that he doesn't have time, even though he wants, he, I think he really wants to be dating somebody. Um, so I don't know. Do I go out with him? <sighs> the, I mean, part of the problem with the other dude, the one from Nantucket was like, he, and I hate to say he didn't have time. Everybody can make time if they want to. And I'm a prime candidate. For a long time, I made no time for dating because I didn't want, really want to. When you want to do it, you figure out a way to make the time. So when somebody says they don't have time for you, I have no sympathy for that. So I'm like, do I really want to go get with some other guy that has no time? Like, we've only been on two dates and I'm not being wooed. It's not working. <laughs> That's my rant. <laughs> anyway, happy Saturday. So I think I'll be back tomorrow with, um, you know, with another video of like a ma major clothing haul. <laughs> have a good one. Bye.